Hi Anne, it, this is David Attard. Um, this is my marketing plan that I've come up with for the Boost Juice Snacks, Activity 2.1. Um, the product explanation. Boost Juice offers a small selection of snacks uh, alongside the variety of juices and shakes and smoothies that they're mainly known for. Um, the snacks are normally made up of products such as the 6 inch Wonder Bar, um, which is made up of mixed berries and nuts, um, the Boost Bites, which is berries in a packet, banana breads, yogurts, um, the chocolate protein balls. So basically they're a small uh, healthy source of food as well to go with the healthy shakes. Um, but not many people know about them I don't think. Um, features and benefits of this product um, are that they are small, they're quite small snacks um, and the packaging is quite attractive, it's very colourful, it jumps at you which is pretty good. Um, the benefits from this range is that they are also a healthy and nutritious source of food which contains vitamins and minerals that we normally need. Um, they seem competitively priced which is good, um, only a few dollars per serve from what I found out. Um, but they, they are very healthy, which is um, it's a good thing. The target group that I would be looking for um, to promote this would be women between the ages of 20 to 39, um, who would be very health conscious, I'd say, um, as well as men between the ages of 30 to 40. Many women of this age bracket work full time or are mothers and don't quite have the time to keep up with the exercise and healthy cooking um, and can benefit from you know, small health bars and snacks which is quite easily to pick up off the shelf. Um, men who usually are over the age of 30 like myself uh, start being a little more health conscious. Um, once you get closer to 40, your metabolism slows down um, and the healthier we eat, the better for us. Uh, the proposed promotional technique um, would be to have bigger signs on the countertop to promote the snack range as well as a um, one month limited time offer of giving a 50% discount to the Wonder Bar and the Boost Bites, which I think um, would be great with the shakes. Um, basically 50% off with every large shake, shake sold, or smoothie or juice. I think that would grab some attention for the snacks. Reasons why this technique will be effective. I believe this would be effective because the target group are always looking for something extra in terms of a healthy alternative. Uh, the boost snacks along with the smoothies and juices give them something extra to have um, with their smoothie. Um, the big signs on the countertop will be effective because they would be eye-catching placed next to, the pe to where people would make their orders. So it would be one of the first things they would see. Um, along with a 50% discount boost snacks on it. Reasons why this technique would be cost effective. Uh, the proposed technique would be cost effective because it's all done in house, well, within the franchise. Um, there would be minimal money spent to advertise apart from the signage. Um, I guess the graphic design as well. Um, Unless the owner, feel, owner feels the need to promote it on radio ads or magazines, it's quite cost efficient. Mm -hmm. Another reason why it would be cost effective is because even though the Boost Juice Bar would be giving a snack away for half the price, it would encourage people to upgrade their order to a large every time and quite possibly have them coming back. Uh, sorry, I've just lost my coming back for more as often as. As having a juice along with a snack would feel more like as though they're having a meal rather than just a shake.
Aims, purposes and objectives of the promotion. The aims, purpose and objective of this promotion is to bring the boost snack range into the limelight along with the juices and shakes. When people think of Boost Juice, they normally think of juices, smoothies and milkshakes. Many people don't even realise that there is a snack range. I didn't even know before I saw this. And so when they approach the counter, they only have one thing in mind, which is a juice or a shake. So the objective is to eventually have people walking up to the counter and choosing a snack to go with their drink and doubling their order in turn making a $10 order as opposed to a $6 order. Uh, profits for the juice bar could increase by about 30 to 40%. Budget plan for the promotion. Um, looking at this, I would estimate roughly around $1,500. Uh, we'd need artwork for the signs drawn up. We'd also need the signs printed out. We would need to upgrade our boost snack orders for our wonder bars and berry snacks to keep up with the orders. Uh, we'd also need flyers made up ahead of the promotional month to make people aware of the upcoming promotion. Action plan. The action plan for this promotion. The first step to have is to have a graphics designer draw up flyers as well as signage artwork for the countertops. Um, I would estimate the cost of about $400. I've used graphic designers before, um, so that would be my estimate. Um, flyers can be printed on a home printer if they like to, unless they want it professionally printed, but that would cost a bit more. Um, or could easily get them all done at Officeworks, which is very cheap. We spend a month prior to the promotion handing out flyers as well as emailing and messaging our customers. We could obviously promote it all over Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, etc. 50% um, promotional campaign running on a boost snack to go with large smoothies and shakes. Social media campaign, I would say about $250 would reach a very large amount of people. Uh, we would need a printing company to organize the countertops signs, which would cost approximately $500 from past experience as well. We would need an extra amount of Wonder Bars and Berry Snacks for the promotional month, so just an estimate here is $350 above the ordinary order, just to see how we go with that. Um, when the promotional month arrives, the word has already been out through social media, word of mouth, flyers, distribution, etc. The signs are already up and the promotion exercise is ready to begin. The legislative requirements, um, I think to make sure that any promotions to advertising meet the standard requirement and legal requirement of the Boost Juice franchise system and comply with their ther terms and conditions. So basically we would need to check with the Boost Juice directors to make sure that we get to go ahead and they're happy with what we're about to do as it obviously would um, uh, it would impact the franchise name. So we would need to make sure it complies with their system. Organisational policies and procedures. Uh, for this marketing plan, we would look to, we would be, for this market plan would be to notify the Boost Juice head office to get the permission and go ahead for the idea of our store. Once we have the green light, then we need to organize the proposed plan through the company's marketing team to comply with Juice Boost Juice regulations. Boost Juice would have their network of companies to provide design and printing for the promotion, I would say. If not, then I guess we would find our own. Team required in their roles and responsibilities, identifying skills and technology required. This campaign would be made up of several different teams. We would need a graphics designer to draw up flyer designs for the promotion. They would need to be someone with experience, preferably in hospitality, just so they know what our customers would be looking for. 
We also need a printing company that offers great quality printing at affordable prices. The printing company would need to produce several cardboard or similar signs for the countertop and potentially a large stand-up sign to go next for the boost juice bar so that people walking past can see this. We need an employee to hand out flyers to all potential foot traffic. Um, finally, we need the boost juice bar owner to run social media campaign and email list, text list, etc. Social media campaign can be set up by either myself or the Boost Juice Bar owner. That I think would work and should cover all of the promotion. Um, I would be quite happy and quite confident in a plan like this to go ahead. Thank you.